We do have um, about 10 minutes for a few questions. Um, as we said earlier, do try to make them um, brief so that we can get a several in within the 10 minutes that we have. Um, so a question for either panelists. Carrie, where have y'all used this drama methodology? In what countries and what have, what's been the outcome? I would love to have an answer for that, but we have not applied this because we came up with this uh, theory and this new methodology, and then we each went on our own paths. Okay. So um, she knew that it really resonated and that would really help her with her work in Myanmar, but she was not sent on another project. So it, it just hasn't been applied yet, but I would love to see how it can be applied. And if anyone has any ideas, any places where you feel like it could be implemented, we, we I welcome the opportunity. Thank you. Yeah, um, I want to make an offer to Kira. Um, you just said something here that uh, you changed your mind on doing a PhD. Am I right? <laughs> I come from a country that has a population of over 190 million, and that is Nigeria. We have the highest rate of non gun related migration. We have the highest rate of internally displaced persons that has grown from 3.2 million five years ago to 7.3 million today. We, we are hosting three world known terrorist groups, ISIS West Africa province, Boko Haram, and the headsmen terrorists. So you have a lot of work to do I would invite you for your PhD because we are sitting on a keg of gunpowder. The day it in Nigeria implodes, I want to tell you the wall you are building across the Mexican border would not stop migrants from Nigeria from coming here. Thank you. Congratulations, Kira. I would like to appreciate that your the invention of methodology in the form of drama. I think it would be, it would be appreciated if you sh demonstrate both the um, end results and take care also that people will be misunderstanding of this drama to reconcile between the both the parties. But the media nowadays, it is well appreciated. So you can include this aspect of drama. How can you uh, demonstrate for the people to reconcile better way. It's a good idea, I appreciate. And also, the, um, another here, I could, uh, you told me that I was a little bit disturbed that truth is not static. You told that uh, praise, I don't uh, appreciate, but uh, the truth is always truth. But exposition of the clients or the um, victims may say uh, false or truth, but truth is always the truth. Thank you. Thank you. Um, my question goes to the lecturer. Sorry, I couldn't uh, get your name. Which which one of us? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Not <laughs> <laughs> we didn't get your name. Okay. Okay. Wamaka. 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 Yeah. Wamaka. Thank you for your presentation. You. Uh, my quick question is: uh, I know by uh, trying to encourage the intellectuals and well-educated and enlightened ones into the uh, local dispute resolution approach. There are huge ideals that the society, uh, you know, could actually enjoy. But I wonder if by saying that if you get the intellectuals into the system or the traditional rule, it will solve the problem of the moral corruption that the irritate, you know, ones are perpetrating now. I think the problem is being simplified because the fact that we are enlightened doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, everything is going to be all right. Would you like to comment on that? Yes. Looking at, looking at what is obtainable, uh, remember we're talking about traditional means? You will, it, it baffles us so much that you see certain gifts that are so minute being given out, and people will, you know, will change. 
people that know the main, the main thing that happened will start saying something else. I'm so sorry. But, but when you see people that are, that are, I mean, let's say, literate and have things to do, before they could, they could be swayed by such little things, it, it, it's always very difficult. Maybe that was why I had to use that word. It's just for me to explain the level at the problems, at the problems there. Thank you. Okay, this to Mrs. Uwazurike. Igu, Igu. Igu, okay. Um, first, the, the traditional uh, method also takes care of criminal situations. You said it doesn't, it does. Even cases of murder, cases of mass murder, have been taken care of traditionally. The, the, ladies, the lady who presented in the morning, alluded to that several times, where communities that we are slaughtering themselves, 200 people dead, that Guleria, Guleria, and so on and so forth, we are settled traditionally. Then secondly, uh, it is true that legally speaking, the Constitution does not quite recognize the traditional institution as, a, uh, as an arbitrator. So all the quotations here in the Constitution are correct. However, that same Constitution and the legal system has failed us. That is why the traditional method has been discussed now. The Western model, which we took from our colonial masters, is not serving us. It's not healing the people. It is only saying you are right and you are wrong. It is not healing. And that is why now there is more emphasis on the traditional method that seems to bring about more healing, lasting peace, and so on and so forth. So there is no doubt about uh, the fact that that recognition is not there. So the world is now saying, OK, can you give this effective method, some recognition, so that we can do it even better. Rather than having disputes that are never resolved, like in Nigeria, you can do one land case for 20 years. The one that started when I was a child in my village, 1970-something, was resolved in uh, 2006. 70-something to 2006 is how many years. So that is the issue. The world is beginning to recognize that what we inherited from the West is not resolving our problems. Maybe it's solving the problems in the US and in the UK, but back there in Nigeria, it doesn't. So can we now make it official, so to speak, so that it actually solves this problem? That's the issue. Thank you. Thank you so much, Rice and Alex. Let me look at your, the questions. You raised the issue of uh, the criminal matters, and uh, you talked about Agulese. With due respect, sir. Uh, Crimes are offenses against the state. Yes. yes. So it is the state. It is the state that has the jurisdiction to look at criminal cases. The issue that was resolved in Agulevi, I'm sure, was not the issue of murder. It was, not the, it was the problems that they had in the place. But problems that had to do with who murdered who and the rest of them were taken to the courts. So ADR or traditional dispute cannot look into the criminal matters. It could only look into the conflicts, conflict, the problems. It was these problems that they had that made them to start killing themselves. So the, the, the traditional method would be used to look at that conflict, to find out if those things could be settled, to resolve. But the criminal aspects of the murder, the manslaughter, and the rest of them, cannot be resolved using the traditional method. Yeah, it's not resolved. It cannot. It's, not it's been done. I'm sorry, sir. I think that we how have time for one more question. Let's continue this discussion how, how would after you do the panel, perhaps. How would you do it? You, 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 you committed murder. So if I come, you will give me an am amnesty, or you tell me maybe when the both parties will come. We are talking about Nigeria. With due respect, right, sir, right. you cannot resolve criminal cases. It is not. I'm so. I'm so sorry. It is okay. Unfortunately, we have run out of time, ladies and gentlemen. So we can continue and this uh, and conversation. Yes, and the sorry. Okay, none. So and the issue 
And the issue of, uh, you talked about, yes, yes, the courts, the courts have failed us. Yes, we know that. But we are talking about, <laughs> we are looking at, you talked, your second question, you talked about, yes, we know the constitution. Yes, the constitution says, such things should be done by the government. But we, it's not as if we are not encouraging the traditional. We are saying that the parties must agree. What happens when either party does not agree? What happens? He has the right to go to the court. Thank you.